Hello? This is a video about writing your, your um, lab book on the empirical formula lab that we did uh, earlier. And the first thing I want to make sure you understand is um, that this is one of my first videos. It may not be uh, very fluid, but I think we get the point across. Um, let me just review the lab just for a minute. Um, we took magnesium ribbon, burned it in the presence of air, which caused the oxygen in the air to react with the magnesium and give you magnesium oxide. So the chemical equation looks like this. Now this equation is not balanced. I'm going to go ahead and balance it just so you'll have it later. But if you'll notice, we have two oxygens on the reactant side. So I will need two reactants on the product, two oxygens on the product side, which means now I have two magnesiums on the product, and I'll put two there. So now we have our chemical balance equation. This is what you performed in lab. You took magnesium ribbon, 35 centimeters, I believe. It, uh, I believe. You heated it strongly in the presence of oxygen and changed it to magnesium oxide. And you could see that it was very different as far as the way it looked. Um, now that you've finished the lab, though, you've already got your data, and what you want to do is now be able to do your lab report. So I'm going to switch real fast to the calculation page. I've already put some numbers on here um, from a student. Uh, she does not know I'm using her data, so I hope that's all right, Emily. And I believe... Here we go. So uh, I'm going to see if I can move this up a little bit so you can see it. I know this is small, but of course on your computer you can probably zoom in and everything. But if you'll see what happened was um, in her calculations uh, during the excuse me during the experiment she did uh, the mass of the empty crucible was 10.67. Then the mass of the crucible with the magnesium ribbon was 11.16 grams. And then after all the heating at the end of the experiment, um, she took the mass of the crucible and now magnesium oxide, and that mass was 11.44. Um, going through these sample calculations, if you'll look right here, I'm going to try to put this cursor there so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I basically did uh, data A minus data B. Here's data A. I mean, data B minus data A, um, and got 0.49 grams of magnesium. Then here, we're supposed to find the mass of oxygen. Again, if you'll see right there, there's a little clue. It says C minus B. Here's C. Here's B. So 11.44 grams minus 11.16 grams was 0.28 grams of oxygen. Now what we're going to do, according to the, the sheet here, that according to the procedure that I gave you, you're now going to find the number of gram atoms. Now, gram atoms is not a term we use much anymore. That same thing as moles. So we're going to find the number of moles of magnesium. So we took the mass that we found in, da in the data table, 0.49, and divided by the mass from the periodic table. That's the molecular uh, mass of magnesium, or the atomic mass of magnesium. When you divide, um, you're going to get 0.49. 0 0.020 moles, and that's the two significant digits because these numbers were the two significant digits. Then we do the same thing for oxygen. In order to find moles of oxygen, we take our mass of oxygen right here. We divide it by the moles, um, the mass of oxygen from the um, periodic table, and we got 0 0.018 moles. All right, the next step is to find the mole ratio. And when you find the mole ratio, um, what you're going to do is you're going to take the smallest of your two answers and divide everything by the smallest. So if I take 0 0.020 and divide by 0 0.018 moles, I'm going to get 1.2. And of course, 0 0.018 divided by 0 0.018 gives you 1. So our mole ratio is 1.2 to 1, which would give us a formula of magnesium 1.2 to oxygen 1. However, in a formula, you don't have partial atoms. You can't have a 0.2 of an atom. Therefore, 
we're going to round that because this truly is experimental data. We're going to round that to one, and I'm going to get a empirical formula of MGO. Now, if you recall from the other uh, page we were doing, let me see if I can pull that up, right here, MGO is the correct formula because MG is a 2 plus, options are 2 minus, that already equals 0. Now, I do want to mention that this is really not the way that I taught it in class. In class, we did it in one step, so I'm going to show you the same thing. If you recall, we had 0.49 grams of magnesium. Oops, that's supposed to be 9 grams of magnesium. And we had 0.28 grams of oxygen. I'm going to do the exact same thing um, the way I did it in class earlier this year. So divide by 24.3 grams per mole. That will equal 0 0.020 moles of mg. And um, divide this one by 16 grams of oxygen. That's going to give us 0 0.018 moles of oxygen. And if you remember the same numbers I got just a few minutes ago, divide by the smallest. That equals 1. That equals 1.2. So here I got the same answer doing it all in one step. I'm just doing it this way so if you're more familiar with how we did it before, um, again, rounding the 1.2 to a whole number, I'm going to get mg O is my answer. Now this is the way I, I, we did it when we did our testing. Um, so if you're more familiar with this way, that's fine. If you'll notice they come up to be the exact same answer, you're really doing the exact same steps. Here I just did it in a line instead of an up or down form. And that's how you will um, complete that. Now, um, let's just for a minute, let's change and go to our um, rubric. The rubric for this experiment is the same. Um, it starts off the same. I don't have materials in here, but you should put materials in there too. So you'll have your uh, table of contents, you'll have your objective, you'll have your materials, you'll have your procedure. Your data table that we just talked about, you can go ahead and put that in. Um, let me move up just a little bit. You can go ahead and just uh, cut and paste that in. Your calculations, cut and paste that in. And then when you get ready to do your conclusion, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to address your objective. Remember that doesn't mean restate it. That means did you, did you succeed? Include your masses. In other words, tell me what your grams of magnesium were. Tell me what your grams of oxygen were. Then tell me what your empirical formula is. Don't re -go, don't go through the procedure again. Just tell me these are the masses that we ha that were obtained. This is the empirical formula that was ex obtained experimentally. Then what is the real empirical formula? Your MGO. Because some of you may not get MGO. You may get MG2O or MGO2 or something like that. So you're going to put what it really what you got experimentally and what it really is supposed to be. And then you're going to give me an error analysis. And by error analysis. If you did not get the correct answer, what could have gone wrong? Did all your magnesium burn? Did you? Did, was it too wet? Did it not dry? Think of ways to, that um, think of things that could have happened to cause you to get incorrect data. I hope this is helpful. Um, good luck, uh, and we'll check them when they're due.